silly. Hello, girls. Sally. So Sally, Laverne, and I don't know, no name girl. No name girl. You guys, look at Silly Bun. Are you comfy? Are you comfy, Bun? <laughs> you can Your Bun. Bun Bun likes these dehydrated banana chips from uh, Dollar Tree. Hey, Bun. There you go. Little treat for you. Mmm, good. Good, huh, Bun? <laughs> you love those bananas. She's spoiled. Are you spoiled? Another one, she says. Can I have another one? You gotta eat what you have already. Whoops, you dropped a piece right there. There you go. Uh-oh, everybody else wants some too. You guys don't like banana chips. You guys don't like banana chips. Mama and her babies are over here in the, it's starting to rain, so. Mama and her babies are in here. She only has two left. We lost one yesterday somehow. I came out to uh, check on everybody and she was looking around for it. And they're out free running around, so I would assume something maybe came down and snatched it. I don't know. We do have aerial predators a lot. But there's two in there. So we were working on the garden, but um, we had to stop. We had other things to do, but I did go to, which one? Home Depot and got these the black mulch to put in my garden i need to do around here and freshen up what i've got there some of my um weed fabric is coming up through and i just need to refresh it i just like it to look nice along with having all those veggies in there so um yeah i got uh five bags for ten dollars so i got ten bags for twenty dollars i spent my um, egg money on it so we have all that to use plus I have a bunch of flowers around the house that that can go around and all that so uh, we'll be able to make it look nice still have our pile here a pile of dirt and the chickens are still turning over the compost over there I haven't done anything with that again we had something come up and we had to go do that so we couldn't finish in the garden. It's still a mess. I tipped my wheelbarrow over. It was getting filled with water. Um, it's been raining a little bit today. And it is freaking cold. It's like 46 out here. It's ridiculous. And it's either raining or the wind is blowing. It's just so stupid. But uh, Scott dragged all, well, pretty much all of the compost from the winter off he just back dragged it and then scooped it up i got some video of that so we'll show you guys some of that if you haven't seen it already and uh so um that's all ready to do whatever i'm gonna do in it who the heck knows i need to work on my fence we're going to extend the fence out uh, this is all open so you could get in here, but we're going to take that side and extend it out and put some more fencing along here. We may take that doorway out and bring it around or bring it out. All this is going to get bumped out a little bit. So from here over, I think we're going to bump it out and uh, make a bigger area because we've got a bunch of CBD plants we want to put in. I've got some pots or some grow bags for uh, potatoes that I want to put in. So um, we're going to extend that just for the summer. And of course, we'll probably knock it down or take it down for the winter because we plow through here to clean up in between the... Uh, in, in between the coop or the shed and the house so that we can get in there and uh, 
we're able to get in here with the tractor, plow underneath the solar panels so that I can keep them clean because the, the snow builds up on them in the winter. So there's reasons why we do that. But yeah, we've got all kinds of stuff going on. And I need to work on my greenhouse. But here's my garlic. It's coming up really nicely. Let's see if I can get down here. Look at that. It's really coming up nicely. Something got in the corner over there and dug way over there. Uh, might have been Bun Bun, might have been baby, baby chicks, might have been mama chicken, who knows, but it's doing fine. I gotta put some soil in there, but it's a lot less garlic this year, but it's supposed to be bigger bulbs than I had last year. And I still have a bunch of garlic in the refrigerator that's in white vinegar that um, I had from last year and it still still works great, still garlic. I just haven't used it all up. So my barrels need to be topped off. There's just so much, but it's starting to rain again. I can feel it and hear it. Here's the chickens getting all in that pile of dirt, having a great time. They're really good turners of compost and uh, dirt and they're good diggers. But don't eat the worms, that's the rule. No worm eating, right guys? Yeah, right. All right, oh, mom and the babies are out. She's keeping a very close eye on her babies after she lost that one. I feel really sad. I looked around for, good Lord, I don't know. It must have been an hour. I went in the woods a little bit to see if I could hear it peeping, see if maybe it got lost. But I don't know, I feel bad. But I can't be out here 24 seven and she doesn't wanna be locked up. She's used to being running around. And she's teaching her babies how to run around. And she's now started roosting in the big coop with the big chickens. Uh, she's in the nest box with them because they still hide under her for warmth. So we just kind of let them go and be free. They've got plenty of places to go to hide. So including the, the summer house or the grow out pen or whatever you want to call it. They have food and water in there, so if it rains, they can go right in where it's dry and get food and water, hang out. They love going in there and hanging out. It's not uncommon to see all of the chickens in there all at the same time, just hanging out, especially if it's raining. This is really awesome for chickens if you guys are interested. It's like a gravity fed type of thing. It's just a tractor supply bucket. But when the water gets low, it um, lifts, there we go, and fills up. See how, I don't know if you can tell that cup is filling up. So when that gets low and starts to lift up from them drinking so much, it um, fills up. They work really great. I got them online somewhere, probably Amazon. I shop Amazon a lot. So I will uh, put a link down in the description if you guys are interested. Works awesome. You just drill holes in a regular bucket and I refresh the water every day. Uh, just add a little bit of fresh water. And then of course I clean it out every so often too. I dump it all out and add completely fresh. I just have that one. This one over here I have for the babies and stuff in case. But that'll get moved eventually. Hi, Bon. Can you say hi? Hi. Say hi, Bon. <laughs> funny, bunny. You're funny. You're funny. She's like, do you have any more banana chips? We'll leave you with Laverne. Laverne. Say hi to the people, Laverne. Say hi, Laverne. Laverne, that's rude. Don't be rude. Can we be nice? Laverne. All right, see you guys.